Welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Other M. We're rushing to Sector Zero, where a terrain like area accompanied with a Mother Brain-like creature and Metroids wait for us. Uh, this is going to be wonderful, I'm sure. We just finished, finished going through a gravity weird type area. So hopefully we never have to go through there again. In the meantime, we're going to run in here. Door up the do up at the top of the room. Got it. Now, it's been mentioned that this thing in the middle of the room sort of resembles the gravity suit power-up, but I don't see it. I don't think it was intentional to look like it, but whatever. They even have these grappling suit things, or grappling hook things here. Not that I'm sure why I would need them, considering I can just wall jump up. And what are you? I'm sure it's not important at all. I guess it's sort of important. may recall Nightmare players of Metroid Fusion and he is not an easy fight but he can much like any other boss he can really be beaten with almost without getting hit you just have to be able to react correctly to all his different attacks which I'm bad at doing I guess um, right now he is affecting gravity, you can tell I'm moving very slowly. Um, if I tried to shoot him... Like, if I try to target him... The gravity pulls my missile down. Ah, I keep trying to jump through that. I'm just gonna keep going this way! Your beams, however, are unaffected by gravity. Well, sort of. Your beams are actually drawn into his... little gravity butt thing there. Enough shots will freeze it. And now... Oh, that's gonna sting, but... I missed him too, so that was wonderful. Come back here and let me shoot you in the face. Maybe I just shouldn't bother with super missiles because they're not working for me. I'm gonna stay up here, shooting your missiles in the face. No, I guess I can only get the one missile in. So obviously that one you just want to space jump over top of. Whereas... Yeah, laser you just want to space jump over the top of. When he shoots the thing at you, you actively want to sense move them. Really? That bounced off of you? Try me again. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. I could also use... No, that's a bad time to do that. Okay, I figured out how to get super missiles in. And now everything is super weighty again. But the strategy is the same. You just keep shooting them, mash that frickin' space jump. No, 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 no. 
Oh, and when he does this, mash space jump and get off the platform. Just like loop around him. Your goal is the same as before. You want to shoot him in his little tail extension. It's what's affecting gravity. Since move the crap out of those things. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, you're gonna do it again. Nope, don't do that one. Or that one. I was trying to sense move him. He's still got a little life left, though. Well, that was enough to push phases, though. So we got that crap going. Why did I stop? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Mash that button hard. Nope, 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 nope. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, getting the crap away from you. And then I'm just gonna keep shooting you in the butt. And yeah, you know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and... Not the frickin', no, him, oh dear. One more for the win. Well, that uh, terrifying as ever. Though we see him again in Metroid Fusion, it would at least appear that this was the first time that this was perhaps where Nightmare was first created. Wondrous day. People in this people in this ship are smart. very smart and have a very clear and understood future. This ship is going somewhere. Oh, looking fancy. I suppose this is even starting to look like we're going to be entering Torrain. Man! Let me tell you how hype I was the first time I played through this game. You have no frickin' idea. The 
lights turning on. Oh. Remember how in Super Metroid, there was that one long hallway before you got to the room that had the statues in it? And it had, like, all these little, like, lights and crap along the floor that you ran across? This room reminds me of that room. Like, we're... We're going places, man. The ship's all the ship as a whole is also going places, though we don't know anything about that yet. That's just more terrifying. Man. So hype. Oh, I don't like this camera angle at all. This camera angle means something's gonna happen. I don't like that something's gonna happen. Something is floating up in the air. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I'm getting closer though. Maybe if I get close enough, it'll just ignore me. Samus, can you hear my voice? I read you loud and clear, Adam. You know what lies up ahead. The Metroids and the artificial intelligence that controls them. The fruit of the Galactic Federation's twisted project. Yes. So why did you shoot me? You can't destroy these Metroids. What do you mean? Sector Zero Metroids most likely can't be frozen. What are you talking about? There's a strong likelihood that the Metroid's mortal weakness, the vulnerability to cold, has been overcome through genetic manipulation. And if that's true, there's no way you can destroy them. But that baby earlier, the infant Metroid, you were able to freeze it. True. My guess is that it was because it was still in a larval stage. Who can say? One thing's for certain. 
They're definitely propagating Metroids. Developing bioweapons with an obvious and fatal flaw would be suicide. It's hard to imagine the military mass-producing defective weapons. Then again, none of this makes sense. Metroids are lethal. Their extinction was a wise decision. And now, since no one has the technology to defeat them, they cannot be allowed to exist. Hang on, Adam. First, I need to know why you're credited as the creator of the Metroid Military Program Report. I received the request to write the report from Galactic Federation Headquarters. In that report, I outlined the potential dangers of such a program and explained categorically why it shouldn't be attempted. HQ listened, but a small group within the Federation co-opted my report for its own purposes. <sighs> Samus. You'll be fully recovered soon. I have several missions for you. This facility appears to be on an intercept course with Galactic Federation HQ. If what Madeline Bergman said is correct, there's a distinct possibility that this is the start of an attack by MB against the Federation. One way or another, some sort of attack is clearly imminent. You have to find a way to divert the ship off its intercept course. I've located a survivor in room MW, toward the rear of the Bioweapon Research Center. Whoever it is will be a key witness. Secure the survivor's safety. And defeat Ridley. He's as much of a threat as the Metroids. And one last word of warning. Madeline Bergman is no ally. Hold on, Adam. What are you planning to do with the Metroids here in Sector Zero? Leave it to me. I'll deal with this place. You have a plan for dealing with Metroids that can't be frozen? Sector Zero has a self-destruct protocol. If the Sector receives a significant amount of damage, the unit is programmed to detach and self-destruct. A powerful explosion will eliminate the Metroids and MB without leaving a trace. Don't you dare, Adam. Let me go in. I'm the only one who has a shot against the Metroids. We have to take the chance. Please, Adam. You have to trust me. You have to trust me. Just give me a chance. Samus. I wish I could battle Ridley, but I can't. Unlike you, I'm no galactic savior. I'm merely human. But I can save you. You should be completely healed soon. There isn't much time. We both need to get started on our missions. I'm sorry for getting a little rough with you. Good luck, Samus. Objections. Right, lady?
Adam vanished, my best friend, the person who understood me best, the closest thing to a father I had. Thoughts swirled through my head. I couldn't come to grips with what had happened. Such a cruel way to say goodbye. I was the only one who witnessed Adam's last moment. And though it shook me, I was calmer than I usually am. I think Adam granted me that eye of the storm clarity, his final gift to me. There was no time for me to grieve his death, but there was time for me to say, Adam, thank you. Leave the rest to me. Get dang it, Adam, how could you do that? How could you take that from us? Do you have any idea how much we wanted to go to Torrain? This is the point in the game where... As, as hype as I was for a lot of things, I got a little disappointed with things. I wanted to go to Torrain! Ah! I wanted to fight Metroids and Mother Brain! God dang it! And though it seemed like he kind of pulled out of his butt that some of the Metroids were unable to be frozen, that was actually reference to the one enemy that we found earlier. That was... they put a flashback into it. Uh, the one enemy we found earlier that had been killed by a Metroid but was in the cold area. Which should have been impossible had they not been manipulated. So it's actually pretty logical that, yeah, the Metroids are probably immune to cold, and that's kind of a crap deal. We got a mission, though! Don't care. I'm just gonna keep on going. Oh, that's not a good goodbye. I'm just gonna keep on going, man. I don't care what you guys got. Oh, that's, that's not a good sign at all. That's not a- that's horrible- No! <laughs> we got one last trick up our sleeves. The gravity feature. We've effectively- we've effectively engaged the gravity suit. We can now move in gravity in, um, areas with a different gravity, despite that these space pirates can't. And it further increases our defense! I am super disappointed, though, that it's a gravity feature and not the gravity suit. You notice we glow purple the color of the gravity suit, when we go into an area where the gravity feature needs to activate, though the damage reduction is constant. But our suit doesn't change colors, it's still just the Varia suit appearance, looking at it. And I want my purple suit, gat dang it! That crap was endgame! And endgame is exactly where the crap we are. Until next time, everyone. Bit disappointed we didn't get to go to Torrain.
Bit disappointed we didn't get to fight Mother Brain. Adam's left us. And we've still got... We've still got some work to do. Until next time, everyone.